no lucho por mí. Nunca lo he hecho. Juntos somos imparables. La victoria no es mía, es nuestra. Solo ante el peligro. Estáis acabados. ¡Vamos! ¡Démosle su merecido! Te lo advertí. ¡Luchad conmigo hasta que caigáis! Antes morir... Que ceder. Serán aniquilados. Esto no es crueldad, es justicia. misma. Hemos estudiado los caminos de la paz y la armonía. Hemos meditado sobre el universo y nuestro lugar en él. Hemos intentado coexistir con la humanidad, pero a los humanos no les interesa compartir su mundo. ¿Cuántos únicos más tienen que morir para dar vida a los sueños de la humanidad? Ya basta. Nuestra raza solo tiene una generación. Es finita. Y muere demasiado rápido. Podemos encontrar nuestro propio lugar. Debemos hacerlo. Uníos a mí. Juntos crearemos un futuro mejor para todos los ómnicos. Hi everyone, I'm Q Fang, lead concept artist on the Overwatch team. Our newest tank hero, Ramatra, is our first tempo tank, with the ability to change states moment to moment, embodying two forms, Omnic and Nemesis form. Show me what you've got. When in Omnic form, Ramatra fights using his Void Accelerator staff. Its primary fire shoots out a stream of nanites in a fixed pattern, dealing steady damage. This ability has slow travel time, but no damage fall off. It's great as a poking tool, plus it does increased damage if you hit headshots. The secondary ability while in Omnic form creates a barrier at a targeted location. This barrier has a lot of health, but it only lasts briefly, so it's meant to be used tactically to close the distance as you poke and push objectives on the map. When Ramatra needs to get up close and personal, he can enter his Nemesis form, which grants bonus armor and changes some of his abilities. When in Nemesis form, Ramatra uses his massive tank arms to pummel as his primary fire. This is a forward punch that creates a wave of energy with every swing. The shockwave from this punch deals piercing damage that goes through shields and can hit multiple enemies in a row. The secondary ability in Nemesis form blocks and significantly reduces damage taken from the front, but reduces his movement speed. This can also expose Ramatra's back and make him vulnerable to attacks from behind. Regardless of which form he's in, Ramatra can use his Ravenous Vortex. He projects a ball of nanites onto the ground, spreading a damaging field that slows enemies caught in its vicinity and also pulls enemies downwards. For his ultimate ability, Ramatra automatically enters Nemesis form and unleashes Annihilation, a wide energy swarm that lashes out towards any enemies in range, dealing constant damage. While enemies are in range of the energy swarm, its timer will pause, keeping the swarm and Ramatra's Nemesis form active. 
Romantra as a tempo tank is all about playing around the cooldown of Nemesis form. You want to use the primary fire on Omnic form to soften up your opponents, and when you're ready, go in with Nemesis form and pummel them. Fight until you fall! We can't wait to see what players are going to do with him. To learn more about Ramatra's lore and design, please check out our other dev update videos. See you all in game. Hey everyone, I'm Q Fang, lead character concept artist on the Overwatch team, here to talk about the concepting and design of our newest tank hero, Ramatra. Ramatra has been in development for a very long time. We first began working on this character all the way back in 2017 when we started concepting all the Null Sector units. And there was a unit that had a Pharaoh type of look in the front of the lineup that was a lieutenant type. We looked at that and said, that would make a really cool hero. Ramatra, at your side. We used a lot of triangular shapes, both in the silhouette, like his cape, his head, his jaw, his hair and that's all done to give him this air of powerfulness, of intimidation, and just make him feel a little bit sinister. Alongside that, you have the more skeletal-looking visuals from Null Sector, and Romatra's colors is primarily purple, matching all the other Null Sector units. So one of the Egyptian iconographies that made it through to the final design was the idea of sand. The original Null Sector units had VFX based on sand powers, and we kind of thought of them as nanites. And so when we made Ramatra into a character, his abilities became based on nanites. Leaning into his lore as a leader and protector of his people, Ramatra's final design archetype is heavily inspired by a shepherd or nomadic figure, with one of his main design points being a staff. Ramatra's staff was initially designed to have a reservoir of nanites, almost like a lantern hanging off of the staff. We ended up simplifying it down into more of an orb with a rotating kind of belt of nanites around it that he would wind up and then shoot um, as his primary fire. Ramatra's nemesis form came from a need for this character to still be a tank. He needed um, size and mass uh, to fulfill that role visually and also functionally. Ramatra's look was actually inspired by early Zenyatta concepts that showcased religious archetypes of a multi-armed figure. Inside of the suit, uh, we wanted to show that he's still this domineering, intimidating character, and so his arms are crossed. You are safe with me. Check out our other dev update videos for more about Ramatra's lore and gameplay. I'll see you all in game.